Psalm 133, the Song of Ascents of David. Behold how good and pleasant it is when brothers dwell in unity. It is like the precious oil on the head running down on the beard, on the beard of Aaron, running down on the collar of his robes. It is like the dew of Hermon, which falls on the mountains of Zion, for there the Lord has commanded the blessing, life forevermore. Few human joys run deeper than real unity. To know and to be known by others, to enjoy a shared heart in some endeavor, to sense the deep resonance of oneness that comes from loving and being loved, this is a foretaste of the new heavens and the new earth, when all divisiveness, strife, and harsh disagreement will melt away. To be in meaningful unity with others is in fact a reflection of the triune God himself, who has dwelled eternally in perfect unity, Father, Son, and Spirit. Truly, how good and pleasant it is when brothers dwell in unity. How do we find such unity? How do we find such unity? The whole Bible gives us the answer, hinted at in this psalm. Unity comes where the Lord has commanded the blessing. Unity comes from the Lord. That is, not from pursuing unity itself, but from pursuing God. In his book, The Pursuit of God, A.W. Tozer explains, Has it ever occurred to you that 100 pianos all tuned to the same fork are automatically tuned to each other? They are of one accord by being tuned, not to each other, but to another standard to which each one must individually bow. So, 100 worshippers met together, each one looking away to Christ, are in heart nearer to each other than they could possibly be were they to become unity conscious and turn their eyes away from God to strive for closer fellowship. Walk with God. Seek Him. As you do, you will find relational avenues opening up that will take you into a deeper fellowship than what could otherwise be possible. <laughs>